Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, cyber traders. How's everybody doing? I don't know about you, but yesterday was one of the most depressing days in my lifetime in the stock market. Um, Dow Jones down 3,000 points. One of the worst days ever next to uh, 1987. Guys met pretty his historic, very historic to see such a thing happen. Um, I'll tell you, I was so upset yesterday, yesterday. I just went home and I just cooked. <laughs> it's, you know, to kind of like, it was it was really depressing. Um, I don't know. Did you guys see my photo on Instagram? I think that face makes it all. I you know, had a little more than just a drink, uh, Ken. And uh, But we're here. It's a, it's a new day, and you got to start off with a new day. And it looks like we're on a positive note. Looks like we're having a lot. I'm finally seeing some greens on my watch list. Uh, that's the good thing. A day's pay makes it makes it feel a little better. Well, you know what? We actually, I, I actually did pretty well, decent yesterday. I didn't do as well as I would liked, but I did pretty decent yesterday as a day trader. It's just that, you know, our IRAs, our investment, our swing trades got crushed. And you know, and you and you want to, you don't want to, you know, hope that anyone. But um, a couple of big announcements. Uh, I want I want to talk about. I'm going to go through the watch list um and talk about what's moving and what's not. But um, obviously, hopefully, a lot of you guys know that uh, uh, New York City shockingly closed all everything here, um, all the uh, gyms, all the restaurants that we're very well known for had to close by eight o'clock, only takeout, and uh, you know all the schools are closed. So there's going to be a uh, there's going to be some really really big changes, and I don't think it's going to really kick in for about another week you know a lot of these people out there don't don't get it yet you know what i mean and some people are not just going to listen and just going to realize there's just nothing to do so there's going to be a lot of chaos i think is going to happen uh over there in houston too you having it i tell you and i've been to houston uh michael it's pretty crazy and uh, you know and the audience that we're listening all you guys out of here i mean we've been we've been together for a long time and we're a lot older than most people are out there i mean part of the group you know we're between the age of 55 and 90 that we're in here uh you know the average 80 70 percent of you are so i guess some of you guys get it but the younger generation they're gonna really gonna have, it's gonna be a big wake-up call i mean i don't know they didn't they didn't close anything uh ken you're down in you're down in uh uh, for Lauderdale, they didn't close. Did they close restaurants down there? That's gonna be another wake up call down there. Uh, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> you know, not yet, Ken. Well, it's gonna probably end up happening uh, eventually. But New York, I think, is probably the worst. I mean, for them to do that here, I mean, that's what we're very well known for. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen now. Um, just kind of make an announcement. I mean, for uh, Andre, they didn't close a Canada, did they? Up in Toronto? I know you're up there. Is everything still open? Everything still open for you? All right. Well, um, listen, there's no better place to be than home. And then what's the great part about it? You could stay home. You could trade the market. So I'll tell you one thing. Um, there's a lot of things that are going to be getting a big uptick. And it's going to be trading. It's going to be, you know, homeschooling. I know Zoom is doing pretty well, you know, ZM. You know, every, everybody's now doing all webinars and stuff like that. Now they have to realize it's going to be it's going to be pretty uh, it's going to be pretty uh, a pretty crazy thing. I, I heard stories, you know, people, you know, some politicians even saying uh, historians said this could be like 1929 depression. I mean, uh, the mayor of New York said that this could probably go, you know, they could be shut down, you know, all the way to September. You know what I mean? If things don't, you know, get, get better than worse. I mean, it's pretty crazy. September. Could you imagine? September home with CTU. That's it. That's it. Just stay home with CTU, which I want to make a, a, a an announcement, you know, for the safety of my staff and everything and everyone here. I am actually going to officially close our office uh, where we're going to be working from home. So I've been working with my staff. I was preparing to do it. Uh, you know, I want everyone to be safe and healthy and be here. So we're all set up. We're going to be able to do our classes. Everything's going to be done, but everything's going to be remote. Um, so it might be a little convenient with calling in, but we're going we're to get everything straightened out. You probably won't even realize it, you know, the way we're going to do things. But, you know, for the safety of uh, everybody, I want to be able to make sure everyone's safe and healthy and, you know, I don't want anyone to get sick. Uh, obviously, they're making a lot serious than what it is. 
Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Wayne, and thanks, uh, thanks, Ken and uh, Grant and all of you guys, cyber traders. I think it's the smart. You know, listen, it, it, it's, it's no, there's no reason for it. You know what I mean? There's no reason for it. So, uh, so we'll send out a bulk email. Everybody know that, but we're still listen. We're still good. We're still going to be doing classes, still going to do broadcasts, you're still going to be able to talk to us, there's still webinars, we're still going to be, be trading like animals, the room's going to be open, probably open even earlier and later, you know, so it'll be fun. Uh, so uh, that, that's that's the smart thing. Now, regarding about what happened yesterday and today, like I said, I, I really don't even want to talk about yesterday, being down. Um, you know, uh, Josh is going to be doing his pajamas, uh, the phase one class in his pajamas. <laughs> well, make sure you take a take a snapshot of that, Josh, and make sure you share that in the room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. There you go. Uh, but regarding uh, regarding what happened yesterday, really, yesterday was kind of a depressing day. And, you know, I really don't want to, like, talk too much about it other than if you watch what the president said right at the close and by the way you guys you know remember something when 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 president trump speaks he's 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 doing not for just the, you know new york or whatever or the country he's doing it for almost the world you know and we're really you know the united states is really a you know a beacon of you know what everyone else is doing and you're starting to see that in canada and europe you know and it's you know you got to get in front of this thing and you know when he talks about like yesterday he made a comment regarding about the airlines and i don't know if you heard, you heard about that and if you were watching all the airlines took off he said we're going to take care of the airlines we're going to bail them out we're going to do what it, what it was going to take you know whatever we're going to do they're going to do and i'm telling you it's going to they're going to have to do a lot more there's going to be i mean italy I don't know if you guys heard it. Italy actually uh, uh, foregoed everyone's mortgage until the government comes up, which was a very smart move. Imagine these people not making money. They're locked in their home. So they foregoed everyone's mortgage, which is that that is incredible. And, and who knows? I mean, listen, they could just print money, I guess. Right. But um, but regarding about the airlines, Delta, uh, you know, had a. Uh, here we go. So Delta, you could see, had a really, really nice pop yesterday. Uh, American Airlines, uh, what else had with there? Uh, JetBlue Airlines. Actually, they're all green on my list. And uh, Boeing also. I mean, Boeing got crushed. I owned it at 170 on a swing trade. I thought that was a good deal. Down what? 40 35 points now making it back i mean i did well with boeing yesterday uh great stock right here you know all the casino stocks uh closed down too you know so uh great this one i made good money on it yesterday but listen hopefully you guys were able to do what i told you to, i told you to do if you're a student of cyber trade university if you're a gold and a platinum student make sure you watched the scalping class i know it wasn't you know wasn't the greatest you know uh uh class at that time because we really weren't scalping as much this is scalping if you got caught holding the bag yesterday you would have got you know you would have made a lot of money and you lost a lot of money you made a lot of money you lost you know what i mean so don't try to think pick the bottom scalps do not pick the bottom we trade in levels okay you, you you put your limit order and you put your limit order out you put your limit order in you put your limit order out trust me you'll be printing money here you know trading so please yeah do not right ken do not get greedy you get greedy you get cocky you try to hit the bottom you're gonna get crushed okay um i, I mean i'll even just bring i mean the, I mean, uh, Royal Caribbean yesterday. Just want to bring this up really quick and just show you what I mean. Uh, a bad time frame. You know, it, really can't see it as much, but it went up. It, it went to 34. It came back down to 32. Went up to 34. Came back down to 32. Went up to 30. Then once it broke it, 32, uh, 32, 31, 32, 31, 32, 31. You know what I mean? So there was a lot of good scalping, but if you notice, a lot of these stocks did make big pops right at the right out of the gate. Now the market, um, the market's up about 220 points. Uh, how are we really going to know the bottom a little bit? I'll be honest with you. What I've learned over the past, you want to be three consistent days of in the green. You know, that's really going to kind of give you a sense of where we are. So remember, you got a lot, a lot to go. I mean, market's at. 
20,400. Uh, we were almost at 30,000. We're down almost a third when you really kind of calculate it. So that's a lot. You know what I mean? So uh, if you have some consistent goes, that'll be fine. Just, just guys, day trading is where it's at. Just make sure you do your scalping, make your money early, and then go and make a nice, a nice meal and enjoy the rest of the day. All right. But uh, the biggest point, and also obviously being safe. Now we're talking about a couple of stocks that are moving. Blue Apron. Now, if you all know what Blue Apron does, they're a home delivery company that, to send you food. <laughs> you know what? I guess a lot of people are going to be doing that now. <laughs> a lot of people going to be. So this stock's actually ha been having a nice run. It was at two dollars. Look where it is. It's up about, you know, it's up about thirty-eight percent now. I don't know if they they got their uptick yet, but I mean, uh, they still got to deliver the food too. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. But uh, but all these companies that ha that unfortunately will benefit from the coronavirus. This is obviously one of them. Costco's the other. You know, uh, BJ's did pretty well too. Anybody like, you know, where people are going to consume and buy a lot of, that's where it is. Listen, someone's else, someone's loss is someone's else reward. So, you know, if you look at the restaurant business and uh, honestly, you know, one of my best friends owns one of the greatest steakhouses in, you know, in, in Manhattan, Frankie and Johnny's. He was so depressed yesterday, you know, closed down. He's like, and I was telling him, what about takeout? He's like, who's going to, who's going to buy a, you know, a, a steakhouse for, for home? You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, all, all the big icon places all shut down in the city. I'm telling you, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, so these things are obviously might get an uptick, you know, so kind of look at stuff when it comes to that. Uh, what else do we got? Okay, so we got that one that's moving. There's a couple of stocks that are moving I want to keep an eye on. DOW, uh, that one got a little bit of an uptick right here, up a little bit nicely this morning, a 14%. Uh, it's got some, it's testing resistance here at 25. Uh, airlines. I mean, I can go down the list. Delta, Norwegian, Wynn, MGN. CODX is not obviously not part of that uh, list, but we all know that C CODX is one of the Corona stocks. That one's doing pretty damn well itself. So that's what we got. Uh, apron sent. sent <laughs> that'd be nice if they could send you some money too. Uh, uh, William, you know what? I'll look. I'll look into that. All right. I'll look into that. <laughs> Chef Tom Coco is afraid of up 75% restaurants may not reopen. You know what, William? Um, I, honestly, uh, I know a lot of people in the restaurant business and some really big iconic ones in there. Unless the restaurant actually owns the building, um, they're pretty much going to go out of business. I mean, they're really going to just going to close down. First of all, they, if you might not realize this, but the, the rent – in Manhattan, these people are paying fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. Um, Chick Fil A on Fifth Avenue, and on Fifth Avenue and Thirty Seventh Street pays a quarter of a million dollars for that little corner space right there. Okay, now these Chick Fil A is not going to be affected. Everyone's going to probably, you know, delivery and whatever that you're going to get takeout. But like some of these other big restaurants, they're going to go out of business. They, they, why? I mean. How, that, how their employees got – I'm telling you, it's going to be a major, major wake-up call, uh, you know, and uh, it's unfortunately – you know, it's not like something that's going to probably – I don't think it's going to end in two weeks. I mean, uh, but listen, you got the cyber group room. You got the trading room. Let's go out there and uh, let, let, uh, let's let's just do what we could do and just kind of just trade. That's all we, that's all we can do. All right. But um, but let, I'm going to get – guys, get ready for the open. Looks like we're kind of not really – moving too much we were up about four five hundred points this morning now we're only up about you know we're up about 200 we're kind of hovering here a little bit i'm just looking at the tv and the dow but uh but just one last thing before we go guys just keep in mind uh if you came in late announcement is i uh, i mean I'm, we are i'm looking for the safety of my staff and we're all going to be working remote so um you know, want to make sure everyone is nice and healthy and safe. And uh, so we'll send out emails. You'll still be able to contact us, emails, phone, everything. But the main, uh, we're going to close our main office and have just people work remotely, you know, uh, for the safety of their families and them. All right. So, uh, guys, good luck. Happy trading. Let's make some money. All right.